How's it going on my Hollow Live fans? And today I'm in a brand new kind of setting. Well, not all that brand new, but it's a different, it's a different angle. I thought I'd sp spice it up a little bit, change up the way I'll, I'll do these figure unboxings. But um, this one's a big one, literally. <laughs> oh, okay, am I even in frame? Can you see me? Oh gosh. Oh, it takes up like the whole entire frame. <laughs> so yeah, I have a, uh, a big order here from Ami Ami, my go-to uh, source of buying anime figures and goods. But um, yeah, inside this box contains three figures. But in this video, I'll be unboxing the Amelia Watson Pop-Up Parade and the Amelia Watson Nendoroid. Hey, if you're watching this channel, you're probably not subscribed because about 80% of you are not subscribed. And if you want me to keep on making quality content, I suggest you do so. Hollow Live, baby, let's go! And in the next part, I'll be unboxing the Megumin Scale figure. I've been waiting for this for quite some time now. I did Surface uh, Surface Mail Premium on this one, because, well, when I uh, had to pay for this figure, I was in the middle of my Japan trip, Tokyo Thrift. By the way, if you haven't already watched that series, there, there's like 12-ish episodes out already. And I still have about uh, maybe five, six more episodes to come out, so definitely do check that out. Okay. Ooh. All right, we got a Ami Ami little postcard pan flip kind of thing. Thanks for shopping with us. We hope it arrives safely. If you have any questions regarding your order, contact the email. All right, cool. Should be good though. It looks pretty safe. Ami Ami does an exceptional job with packaging orders. Thank you. Look at all that fluff. All right. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! All right, here it is the Amelia Watson pop up parade. Set that right here. And of course, the Nendoroid. It's so funny because when I was in Japan back in January, I actually saw this figure along with this one in, in store. So I was like, oh, dang, I ordered that already, but I could have just bought it here, I guess. But I pre ordered this before I knew that I was actually going to be going to Japan in January. So here it is, though. Woohoo! Number 2216. And just a little sneak peek so that you get excited for the next part. Megamine. Heck yeah. All right, but here are the two figures we'll be unboxing. Let's start with the pop-up parade. With these pop-up parade figures, I've actually been tending to just throw away these boxes because it really is just a clear plastic rectangle. I usually, from now on, really only keep the figure boxes that actually look really nice or are for figures that are more expensive. These pop-up parades are meant to be much more affordable price, which they are and pretty inexpensive but here's the base pretty pretty boring pretty plain it's a circular puck but the figure itself i gotta say i feel like pop parades are f maybe 60 40 in terms of quality 60 percent being good 40 percent of them being meh but this one is pleasantly actually looking pretty nice but I could just be biased because it's hollow life and it's the it's the vtuber that sent me down this rabbit hole but yeah check out those the pattern on her what is it, her skirt honestly the paint job's not too bad I'm kind of noticing this weird part, part right here that shows up in camera with with the I guess the molding not a big fan of how loose these are and that you can move them around like that. But yeah, for a pop parade, this looks pretty decent. 
we'll get a nice 360 look at this in a bit at the end of the video after we get the Nendoroid out as well but yeah that's pretty much it there it goes on the base nice set that right here And now for the main course, in my opinion, the Nendoroid. So I believe this will be my what? My my 13th Hollow Live Nendoroid. So far I have Sora, Susei, Fubuki, Matsuri, Aqua, Subaru, Okayu, Korone, Pekora, Martin, Rushia, and Kali. And now, oh, and Gura. So this is my 14th. Yeah, so this is actually my 14th Hollow Live Nandroid. Let's get her open. Check out the box though. Adorable. Freaking adorable. I love all the different, uh, oh, it comes with a mustache. Yo, that's freaking cute. Okay. I love all the different, uh, positions you can put this one in. You get little Bubba as well. Well, I'm definitely going to let her hold her little magnifying glass. Should I put the mustache on? I think I will. I think I will. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this one. Now with Nendoroids, I actually keep the boxes because they're actually pretty nice ways to keep all the, uh, the different pieces an Nendoroid comes with. Check out the inside of the box if you could see that. It has a bunch of little... Amelia Watson patterns on it. All right. Let's just get straight to the figure itself. <laughs> Yo, get all the plastic off. But yeah, for, for those of you that are new to the channel and don't really know me, Amelia Watson is the first ever VTuber I've ever, like really thoroughly became a fan of and watched. She was holy! <laughs> Whoa! It even comes with the little uh, Watson concoction. That's actually so cool. Um, but as, as I was saying, uh, before we got <laughs> the view, Amelia Watson was the very first Hollow Live, very first VTuber ever that I ever watched. And she was the one that sent me down the rabbit hole. And god dang, this is actually freaking adorable! All right, let's, <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't, I, this is, this is, this, this is the, I guess this is the one downfall of having this kind of setup for recording these unboxings rather than what I usually do. You can't see my reaction. Maybe I should get a second camera so you can see <laughs> my face as well. But oh my. Okay, this is, this, that's actually too cute. We even got her little hat. Bro. It just sits on top. <laughs> That's freaking adorable, bro. That's freaking adorable. God, I love Watson. I miss her. I miss her. She hasn't streamed in a long time. Look at Bubba here. Bruh. <laughs> That's actually too freaking cute. We'll definitely use Bubba. Got her little magnifying glass here. Another little arm piece right here. Got a little hand right there. And then the two different face plates that you get with Nendoroids. This freaking adorable smile. Oh my gosh, too precious. And the one with the stash. <laughs> That's so funny. And the thing right here, I love a lot about these Hollow Live Nendoroids. They come with a special, unique base. It's not just a plain little square. Look at that. Watson Amelia and a little symbol that represents her. Her magnifying glass. All right. I got her holding her little magnifying glass. <laughs> That's freaking cute. That's actually too adorable, bro. All right, I think this will be the little pose that I'll set her in. Sort of tried to do this one. And there she is with her little hat on. Let's go ahead and put her on the base and let's get a 360 look on both of these figures.
Just a little weird side note that I noticed here the, with the Papa Braids. They are pretty inconsistent with the bases. As you can see here, the Gura Papa Parade has a enormous circular base, while the Amelia Watson one has a much more manageable, smaller base, which I actually kind of prefer. And then, we go over here and look at the Okaru one. It's not even a circle, it's a hexagon. Hmm. But um, yeah, so that's it for this little unboxing of my Hololive Amelia Watson Nendoroid and Pop-Up Parade. Let me know down in the description which one you like more. For me personally, I gotta say I gotta give it to the Nendoroids. I think they're just so much more worth the money. But nothing against the Pop-Up Parades here. It's kind of like, sort of an introduction to a scale figure, but it's just something about the Nendoroids. I feel like the quality definitely beats out the pop parade and also let me know do you did you like this format of unboxing or did you prefer the old way i did it or maybe i should really try to ma match mash up the two and have a face cam as well let me know down in the comments but as always guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe for more hollow live weeb otaku goodness and once again i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye